you guys enjoyed last week's video of me and my dad putting in my new exhaust it literally took an hour of work and I gotta say it was exhausting it was a fun little project for my dad and I to do he was actually a little bit more excited than I was to install it on the car and we're exhausted exhaust but now back to today's video so I just got out of work it's getting a little darker now still got some sunlight still got some sunlight but I'm gonna try and get as much work as I can done today a little bit of work done a little bit of prep done for tomorrow because tomorrow is going Ugh. Ugh. because tomorrow is going to be a very very big day for me I am going to be off all day but I do not have that much time to work on the car tomorrow. I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a rundown of what's going on with the car tomorrow and how that is going to affect the videos. So tomorrow I'm gonna be shooting, shooting, shooting a lot of content and I'm going to try and break it up for the next few weeks just because there's going to be so much content that I'm not gonna be able to fit it all into one really long video for you guys. So I'm gonna break it off into maybe three or four different sections for the next three or four weeks, depending on how many videos I get and how long each video is and how long it's going to take me to edit all the videos and do what I have to do. Now, along with... It sounds like it's gonna rain. And I really hope it's not it wasn't supposed to rain today in between each video not only will I be doing some car content I also am gonna be doing some bakery content along with that it's been a while since I feel like I've done any kind of real uh, baking project and I can't call this channel cakes and cars if I only work on my car and I don't really do any, any bakery projects. It's going to be a little difficult and I need you guys to just stick with me through the process. Help support me, help support me by watching these videos. Please show some love, like this video, drop some comments and if you haven't subscribed already, please consider subscribing. So for today, we are going to be installing the rain guards to my car. Um, like I said in the last video, I didn't really know how I felt about rain guards in the beginning, mostly because I didn't I didn't really see them as necessary. Um, but now I've actually seen these rain guards on a couple of different cars and I've seen photos of it on my same similar car, either it be a Base Lancer, a Rally Art, or an Evo. And I have to say, like, it really is growing on me. It is something I want to try out. I mean, I can run with these rain guards for a little bit and see how well they look and how well... <coughs> Mosquitoes how well they look and see if I like them you know just I gotta give them a shot I gotta give it its fair shot so today we're going to be installing them on the car and we'll see how things go let's get into it and the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna clean off the areas of which we're gonna stick the double-sided tape to for the rain guards Thank you. 
I just finished putting on the passenger side of the rain guards and I have to say I really really like the way they look they look so good right now now that I got the passenger side done it's time to do the driver side All right, so before I put the other one on, I just want to give you guys a quick little tip of how to put on these kind of 3M double-sided tapes. You see how it's all along the edge here? So what you would want to do, so what you would want to do is take this one completely off, take this one partially off, take this one completely off, take this one partially off, and then stick it on. So this one here and the other end here become your anchors. And then and once you finally get it fit and positioned the way you want it, then you can come inside and pull the rest of this tab and then stick it on the car. Just a little pro tip for you guys. Now that I'm done putting on the rain guards, it, it just looks so, so good right now. All right, now that I've got the rain guards installed on the car, I'm still gonna do a little bit of prep work on the car for tomorrow, but you're going to see that in another video. So to wrap up the end of this video, we're gonna go inside and because we did some rain guards for the car, we're gonna do some rainbow cupcakes in the house. I'll see you guys in the kitchen. All right guys, so we're back in the kitchen and we put the rain guards on the car. Now we're gonna get ready to do these rainbow cupcakes. And these rainbow cupcakes aren't like the regular Roy G. Biv, red, orange, yellow, kind of like full color rainbow. This is going to be your seven layer cookie, Italian rainbow cookie kind of cupcake. This is actually super, super simple. Anyone can do this, you can do it yourself at home. What you're gonna need is your box mix um, to make the cake. You're gonna need some food coloring to make your colors, your reds, your, your reds, your greens. And you're also going to need, need some almond, some almond flavoring that's going to give you that nice, um, rainbow cookie kind of taste. And to really bring it home, you're gonna get yourself some red raspberry preserve that you're gonna fill on the inside. Um, we're gonna do this a little bit differently. I'm not gonna make the cupcake and just core it, put some filling in it. I actually wanna go in between the layers and put a little thin layer of rainbow jam baked into it. So. I mean, I've never tried this before, so I hope everything <laughs> comes out the way I want it to. And if not, hey, it was a learning lesson that I know that next time, just core it and fill it with the raspberry jam. All right, let's get into this. Okay, 
so now that my batter is all mixed what I'm gonna do now is I'm going I'm going to weigh the entire batter and then I'm gonna divide that by three I'm gonna take two bowls and I'm gonna fill it with the amount that I need to make my green color and my red color cake mixed my pan is ready I have my red raspberry filling ready to go I'm gonna start scooping out these cupcakes and hopefully I get <laughs> the outcome that I want So now that these cupcakes are filled, they're ready to go in the oven. They're a little wrinkly. I'm not entirely sure as to why they did that. I don't know if it's from the almond flavor or from the, or from the raspberry jam, but they did kind of wrinkle up a little bit. But you know what? It's okay. We can save that. I already made some ganache over here. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna to take these and I'm just gonna dip it. Just like that, just so at least it has a little bit of coating on it. So I'm gonna do the rest of these and I'm gonna show you how we're gonna finish them. All right, check that out guys. Some of the cupcakes were a little bit wider than others so I had to make the Rose out a little bit bigger so it doesn't really have a center but it's okay if it doesn't have a center because now i'm going to fill these centers with raspberry jam in the middle so i can really drive home that raspberry almond flavor and just like that they are done so i'm not going to be able to put these cupcakes in the light box to take pictures of them only because I am giving them to my brother so he can take them to work and I'm not gonna eat all these cupcakes so I'm gonna have him send it to the people, have some free cupcakes and I hope that they really enjoy it. Now, looking at these cupcakes, I can honestly say that they do look unfinished. I, I, I do like the way they look. They probably taste amazing. The only thing is, I wish I had a little pop of color other than the lavender cups. Now, I went with the lavender cupcake cups because I wanted that nice contrast between the lavender cupcake cup and the dark chocolate ganache. However, I kinda didn't get to achieve that only because the colors of the cupcake were so strong that they kind of they kind of came through the color of the lavender cupcake paper. Now, what I can think of, of what I would change about these particular cupcakes would be, I would add probably a fresh raspberry on top, on top of that raspberry jam, and a little bit of powdered sugar. All right guys, so that's all I'm gonna have for you for this video. I really hope that you enjoyed the install for the rain guards and the breakdown of these rainbow cupcakes. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and remember to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.